Hello and welcome to today's programme at Home Learning Fun. I'm Jess and I'm going to be showing you a fun way to learn at home and at the same time cover parts of the school's national curriculum for science. Today we will be investigating light. Oh, what's happened? Who's turned the lights out? I can't see anything now. It's pitch black. Can someone turn the light on please? Thank you. I can now see because light is reflecting off things into my eyes. Hmm, why do you think we need light to help us see? Do you have a night light so you can have just enough light at night to make out your surroundings? I do. Now, the other night I was reading a book and it said, as she opened the door, light flooded into the room. What do you think that might mean? The word flooded means to overflow its limits, like water overflowing a container, such as if you've ever left the bath running for too long. But if we use the word flooded when talking about light, we might think of floodlights at a sports ground, seeming to light up the whole ground right into the corners. But if you stood behind the floodlight, would you be lit or in darkness? Consider the idea of a door opening and light flooding in. You might think it would flood in and fill the whole room, but does it? As you can see, this suggests that light does not flood into the whole room, as some parts of it are still dark. Maybe it travels in a straight line. Can you devise an experiment to see if this is true? Maybe you could test this by using a torch. Does it flood the whole room with light? There is lots more to learn about light, and I'd love for you to carry out your own research to find out more. Perhaps you could do a science learning trail in your home and make a list of all the different light sources you can find, such as a lamp, TV, laptop, toy or anything else. I wonder how many you can find in 10 minutes if you carefully looked in all the different rooms around your home. Then. Maybe you could choose one or two of them and find out more about them. For instance, people didn't always use light bulbs. They used to use candles and gas as a light source. Maybe you might like to find out how and why light bulbs were invented. When did people first use electricity? When was the light bulb invented? Why wasn't it invented before that? And how does a light bulb work? I'm sure you could think of lots of other questions too. We'll give you space to write up your facts on this week's PDF, which can be downloaded from our website under the free resources tab. Thank you for watching. I hope you've had fun today and enjoyed your science learning trail and researching one or two investigations about light. See you next time.